So, yes, Kenzo. Uh, can you explain one question? Uh, sorry. Can you explain one question? All right. Uh, the question is sine inverse of sine two pi by three. So this question is from the last class, right? Yes. Yes. All right. So what is the first thing we do to solve this type of question? First thing we need to do, we have to check if this angle lies between minus two to pi by two, right? Yes, sir. So is this true or not? No. No. Then what we have to do, we have to change this into something that an angle lies between this angle. So what we can do, we can write this as three pi minus pi upon three. And this is equal to sine inverse sine pi minus pi by three. This step is clear? Yes, sir. All right. Now what is sine pi minus theta? Sine pi minus theta. This we have to know. All right, how to solve? We have four. We have divided all the angles in four quadrant: zero to ninety, ninety to one eighty, one eighty to two seventy, two seventy to three sixty. All right. So in here, whatever function you take, if the angle is zero to ninety, all functions are positive. All positive. Yes, sir. If you take any angle from 90 to 180, that means 120, 135, 150, then sine and cosec are positive. That means sine 120, cosec 150, they are all positive. Everything else is negative. In this quadrant, tan and cot are positive. In this quadrant, cos and sec are positive. This thing is clear? Yes, sir. All right. Now you can solve any type of questions like this. Sine pi minus theta. Pi means this line, negative axis, right? Yes, sir. Minus theta means you are standing at the second quadrant. Yes, sir. Now remember this one. If you have multiples of pi, then sine remains sine. And in the second quadrant, sine is positive, then sine theta. The answer is plus sine theta. All right. Suppose you yes. had sine pi plus theta. Then we have pi when we pi sine remains sine sine theta, but pi plus theta is in third quadrant, right? Yes, sir. And in third quadrant, the sine is negative, so minus sine theta. This thing is clear. Yes, sir. And if you face sine pi by two plus theta. If you have multiple of pi by two or 90 degree, then sine becomes cos theta. Now again, pi by two plus theta is second quadrant. Then this will be positive because to check for sine, don't check for this cos. You have to look at the question and check this function is positive or negative. All right. Sir, could you explain the last step again? All right. See, in the second quadrant, cos is negative, but sine is positive, right? Yes. So sine 90 plus theta, we got cos theta. Now to check positive and negative, we are not looking at this cos. No, we have to look at this sine. Pi plus theta is in second quadrant. In second quadrant, sine is positive. All right, we have to look at the main question because the function changed to cos. That doesn't mean we have to write negative here because the question basically was sign of some angle. All right? Yes, sir. So this thing is clear? Yes, sir. So sine 90 sin. minus uh, 180 minus theta, sine theta, so sine inverse, sine pi by three. Now this angle lies between minus pi by two to pi by two. So the answer will be pi by three. All right? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. I hope this is absolutely clear. Yes, sir. 
all right just let's wait two more minutes for this to come we start at 55 755 655 All right, let's start the class. All right, so everything is clear about yesterday's class, right, Kinta? Yes, sir. So today we are going to solve new type of questions. All right, where you have to change a few things to get the right answer. All right, so write down one question. Tan inverse in the root one minus cos x upon one plus cos x. The question says simplify. All right. Yes, sir. So, what you have to do here? Do you know half angle formula? Sorry, sir. Cos cos two theta. Do you know the formula for cos two theta? Yes, sir. Tell me. What is cos two theta? For God, sir. We have three or four formulas for this, but two formulas yes. we use a lot, right? First is two cos square theta minus one. Another one is cos two theta equals to one minus two sine square theta. All right. 
these are called half angle formula all right why half angle formula for 2 theta the angle becomes theta if it was theta the angle would have become 2 theta if it was 8 theta you just half it 4 theta this thing is clear yes sir all right so why this formula is necessary if i have to write 2 cos square theta and i can write this as 1 plus cos 2 theta this one comes to the side right yes sir same way i can write 2 sin square theta is equals to 1 minus cos 2 theta now this is very important for me right whenever you see 1 plus cos 2 theta you can write 2 cos square theta half angle formula that means 2 theta becomes theta if we have 1 plus cos 2 theta becomes 2 cos square theta if we have 1 minus cos 2 theta this becomes 2 sin square theta if you have 1 plus cos theta then again half angle formula see everything is same just the angle is different that means i can write this as 2 cos square theta by 2 yes or no yes sir and again 1 minus cos theta we can write it as 2 sin square theta by 2 all right yes sir so whenever you see this type of thing 1 plus cos theta 1 minus cos theta 1 plus cos 2 theta 1 minus cos 2 theta you have to use this term and this is mostly clubbed with another thing sin 2 theta formula this is 2 sin theta cos theta and again they will not give you sin 2 theta they will give you sin theta so we can write this as 2 sin theta by 2 and cos theta by 2 right again half angle formula all right yes yes so please note down this formula very important and then yes, try sir. to solve this all right then very easy question it is okay sir
done so. All right. What is the answer you are getting? Tan inverse tan theta by two. That means x by two, right? We have here. So tan inverse. We can change this to two sine square x by two upon this is two cos square x by two, and under root two and two cancelled. Sine square x by two cos square x by two is tan square x by two, and under root of that is tan x by two. So this we can write as x by two, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is clear. Yes, sir. So they will give you this type of questions just to confuse you. If you remember, this is the like fundamental formula to solve. Then the question is very easy. All right. Yes, sir. So let's solve another question. We have tan inverse cos x upon one plus sin x. All right. Now let me give you a hint for this. See, in the previous question, we saw that we need to know the formula of one plus cos x, one minus cos x, or just sin x, right? Yes. But in here, they have given you just cos x and one plus sin x, or The other thing, just cos x. Yes. How sir. can we convert this into just sin x, or one plus cos x, or one minus sin cos x? Any idea? No, sir. See, can I write this as this is tan inverse cos x? Can I write as sin of five by two minus x? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Right. And this is one plus cos of pi by two minus x, right? Yes. So this thing now is converted to the formula we know. This is just sine of some angle. So you can take as theta. This is also theta. So sine theta upon one plus cos theta. Now you can use the formulas and solve, right? Yes, sir. All right. Try to solve this.
sir. Um, is it tan inverse two tan theta by two? All right, and let's see if this is theta, this is theta, this is tan inverse two sine theta by two cos theta by two upon two cos square theta by two, right? Yes, sir. This is cancelled cos theta. This is one square is gone. So tan inverse and theta by two. So the answer yes. is theta by two. Now you have to replace the value of theta also. What was theta? Pi by two minus x by two. So this is pi by four minus x by two. This will be the final answer. All right, Indra. Okay, sir. All right. Next question. And this I will not be giving any hint. Cos x upon one minus sine x. All right. Try to solve it. Similar question.
got it, sir. All right. What is the answer here? Pi by four plus x by two. Pi by four plus x by two. Let's see. So this again we can write sine pi by two minus theta. It's one minus cos pi by two minus x. So this is tan inverse. This is sine theta. That means two sine theta by two cos theta by two on two sine square theta by two. Right, Sindra? Yes, sir. So this is tan inverse cot theta by two. Yes. So how to change this further? Uh, theta by two. No, tan inverse cot theta by two is not theta by two. Tan inverse tan theta by two is theta by two, right? Yes, sir. We have tan inverse and cot. So how we can do this? We can simply write tan inverse, and again see what we did here. We can do again here. Cot theta by two we can write tan ninety minus theta by two, right? Yes, sir. So this answer will be ninety minus theta by two. Ninety means pi by two. So pi by two minus theta by two will be pi by two minus x whole divided by two. This thing is clear. Yes. So the answer will be pi by four plus x by two. And this is very important. Tan inverse cot theta by two is not theta by two. This is pi by two minus theta by two. All right. Yes. Sir. All right. Write this down. Then we'll solve next question on this. This is the question. And for this, I'll give you the hint that tan pi by four minus theta is one minus tan theta upon one plus tan theta. All right. This is your hint. Think about how you can use this in this question. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll give you a few minutes. Tell me if you're done.
got it sir all right how did you solve this uh cos theta minus sin theta divided by cos theta absolutely so we can divide a cos theta in the numerator and in the denominator no. absolutely so tan theta this is 1 minus tan theta upon 1 plus tan theta and how did we get this formula because instead of 1 i can write this n pi by 4 so tan a minus b formula tan a minus tan b upon 1 plus tan a tan b if you put a equals to pi by 4 and b equals to theta you will see this formula is valid all right kinza yes sir so this is tan pi by 4 minus theta so the answer is pi by 4 minus theta i hope this is clear next pattern yes sir questions based on substitution how to use substitution for our own benefit first is type and substitution if you have a square plus x square then you can put x is equals to a tan theta or a cot theta all right why so because a square plus x square if you put x equals to a tan theta then you will get a square plus a square tan theta taking a square common 1 plus tan square theta and 1 plus tan square theta is x square theta right that is why we have to use this type of substitution if you face a square plus x square all right yes sir second one is a square minus x square if you see any type of questions which has this type of equation then you can put x equals to a sin theta or a cos theta for the same reason this identity is more suitable if you have x square minus a square then x equals to a sec theta or a cosec theta if you have a minus x upon a plus x or a plus x upon a minus x then you can put A equals to sorry x equals to a cos two theta. Why so? Again the half angle formula. If you put a cos two theta, then a is common. One minus cos two theta, one plus cos two theta. We have just seen that they can be used as two cos square theta and two sin square theta. Right? Yes, sir. All right. Last one is. A square minus x square or a square plus x square, a square plus x square upon a square minus x square. Here you can put x square equals to a square cos two theta. Please note this down. You don't have to do anything. If you understood the previous three questions, then just by using this uh, standard substitution, you'll get to the same point. Of the previous question. All right. I'll give you an example. Let's write it down first.
done just a minute sir Sir, what is the third one? X is equals to sec theta or cosec theta. A cosec theta. A cosec. Done so. All right. Let's start with the question. Tan inverse x upon under root a square minus x square. All right. Just use this simple substitution. Whatever you think is right for this, and try to simplify. Very easy question. All right. Yes, sir.
sorry sir i'm stuck all right let's see what is the first step to do here what substitution can use x equals to look at the standard so substitution a sin theta a sin theta so instead of x we can write a sin theta upon yes, under root a square minus a sin square theta so this is tan inverse a sin theta upon see if i take this a square common and outside the under root then i'll have a under root 1 minus sin square theta yes sir clear? and a and n yes, cancel what is 1 minus sin square theta the first identity ever you have studied in trigonometry sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 1 so 1 minus sin square theta we can write cos square theta theta yeah and under root cos square theta is cos theta so tan inverse tan theta the answer is theta this is clear yes sir but we cannot leave the answer as theta why they have not given what is theta we assume that so how to find the value of theta here we can write sin theta is x upon a so theta is sin inverse x upon a all right yes sir so you have to find this answer like this this is the final answer sin inverse x upon a. i hope this is absolutely clear yes sir all right next question so i'll just write it down all right Try this question after writing that down. Okay, sir.
धन तिंज सॉल्व दिस ऑर नॉट यस आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट द वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा ऑलराइट सी व्हाट बट आई एम डू यू अज्यूम ए कॉस ऑलराइट ए कॉस टू थीटा so how you can find a cos 2x x by a cos 2 no 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 see how to simplify this cos 2 theta is x by a now if this cos goes to that side we have to write inverse cos inverse yeah. x by a all right so theta yes. will be half cos yes. inverse x upon a all right Yes, sir. So, do I have to solve this, or it's okay? Else, I solve. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Then next question. Sine inverse x upon a square plus x square under root. All right. Yes. Sir.
solve this, Pinza? Uh, yes, sir. All right. So again, what, what can we put the value of x as? Uh, half cos inverse. Hey, what should I put x equals to? What is the substitution I use? x is equal to a square cos 2 theta. No, 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 no. See, that is when you have under root a square plus x square upon under root a square minus x square, something like that. We just have under root a square plus x square here. So, what substitution is needed for a square plus x square? a tan theta or a cos theta. A, a tan theta, right. A tan so you can theta. easily put the value of a tan theta. This is clear why this substitution and not that one? Yes. So sine inverse a tan theta. Again, taking a common one plus tan square theta is sec square theta under root sec theta. This is clear? Yes, sir. So tan theta is sine theta by cos theta. And sec theta is 1 upon cos theta. So cos theta here multiplying. This is cancelled. So sine inverse sine theta is theta. And from here theta we can find what will be theta? See tan theta will be x by a. So theta will be Tan inverse x by a. Tan inverse x by a. So this is the final answer. All right? Yes. Yes, sir. And just, uh, just uh, write it down. Just give me one minute. All right? Yes, sir. All right, Kinza? Yes, sir. So whatever we studied today, this is absolutely clear? Yes, sir. All right. So this is all for today's class. You will get the assignment. Did you get the assignment uh, yesterday? Not yet, sir. Not yet. All right. So I'll talk to the team. You'll be getting assignment after each class. All right? Okay, sir. So please complete the assignment also and ask me if you have any doubts. All right, in the next class. Okay. Take care. Thank you.